Oops, another hit. Oh, did I miss? I missed. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing. Oh. Alright, heading up to Lake Ontario this morning. Um, for those of you that don't know what springtime on Lake Ontario means, it means brown trout and that they're in shallow, they're feeding, feeding heavily. Uh, not just brown trout, but king salmon, maybe some steelhead, uh, coho salmon. They're all chasing those bait fish up in the shallow, so I'm going to be going to a pier, chucking spoons as far as I can. Uh, I'm hoping I can get a couple to bite. Um, hopefully the pier isn't too packed. But as you can see, the sun's just about rising, and uh, hopefully if I stick around for a couple hours, I'll hook into a nice brown. Stay tuned. I don't think I've ever seen Lake Ontario this calm before. And it's about as flat as can be. Hopefully that means it's good for fishing, but only one way to find out. Quite a few boats out already. Not too many guys on the pier. Forgot my net, so I don't have to walk it all the way down to the pier. If I hook into one. Gorgeous morning though. Water's much clearer than the last time I was here. Yeah, there's well, it's, I'm using is because of the moonshine, but Two fifths of an ounce, there's a little bit of glow to it. I'm just gonna launch it. I don't think I really need to let this. Nothing yet, but the wind's starting to pick up a little bit, so they're starting to get a little chop on the water. Should help us. The water's super clear. We need something to break that light up. So it's just a blue and silver hammered. Three quarter ounce spoon, I want something simple, something natural in this. Clear water. I could see him jumping, but nobody has any bites yet. Oh, there's bait jumping. Oh, there's bait. Usually, bait doesn't jump for no reason. It's a good sign, though. I decided to stop at a different pier, same lake, Lake Ontario. Someone told me they were doing good here yesterday. And there's definitely some mud here. So, feeling a little bit more confident. The water at the other spot was just so clear that when you're chunking hunks of metal, you kind of need some cover. You need some either chop on the water or some mud. Pass it all up in here, it's all muddy. And hope for the best. Not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there's an obvious mud line and pockets of mud, so. Ooh. Is that a fish? Yeah, oh wow. First cast. <laughs> oh, did he come off? Oh no. That was cool, first cast had a hit.
And oh man. First kettle, oh, they gotta be in here, man. I'll keep the camera rolling for a bit if they're hitting like that. It definitely looks more promising just by how muddy the water is. Not only that, but the muddy water is warmer, so that's where the bait fish go, and then obviously these browns are following the bait. No shame, it's just sending it. I'm just gonna switch my speed, switch my lure, switch how deep I am. Give him every possible. What do we got? Oh, that's a pretty brown. Oh, yeah. Pretty. This is going to be difficult. Is that a brown or a steely? Let's see. Oh, no. How's it going? A nice brown on. Where are you going, man? 
Oh yeah, it looks like a nice brown, nice silver brown trout. Let's see, I should be able to, got him. There we go. Oh. Thank you. I didn't, yeah. Oh, I just barely had him hooked. Oh, oh, you see it? It's pretty cool. Been here about 30 minutes. Had lost one, had another hit, and just landed that beautiful springtime brown. Only bad thing is, my hands are now covered in scales. Right when I went to that fast retrieval, he smoked it, so. It was like they're feeding pretty, pretty heavily, so. Oops, another hit. Oh, did I miss it? I missed. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing. Oh, I hope the camera got that. I hope. He's the... chasing it. He's chasing <sighs> Oh, the camera got that. He was chasing it. That's unbelievable. I hope my hands weren't in the way because he was chasing it. They are feeding heavily. Oh, I have chills. That was so cool. I'll tell you what, after three, four hours of fishing this morning with no bites, this is a great change of pace. Another one. Yep. Yep. Oh, did he get off? Yep. Oh, tight line. Drag him. Oh, man. See, is he chasing it? Oh, let's show you what uh, I'm using here. Little Cleo. Two fifths of an ounce. Uh, kind of looks like a goby. Has similar colors. The brown trout of Lake Ontario have uh, really adapted. The for those that don't know, the goby, the round goby is an invasive species. They just kind of hide in the rocks. And when they first got here, they were causing a lot of damage. They were eating a lot of the native fish's eggs and things of that nature, but after about a decade or so of them being here, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, uh, the native fish learned that they were a great meal. So the brown trout specifically of Lake Ontario and then the smallmouth bass and walleye of Lake Erie have really adopted that as one of their main courses, if you will. So that's sort of what I'm hoping to imitate. And now the mud's all this way. Oh god. Reel it off slack on the wind. Just gonna keep it near the top and see what happens.
There we go. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. Oh, man. Oh, that's all I need to feel to stay another 20 minutes or so. Oh god, did it? Just jump. Little guy. <laughs> oh, my drag. That's a little, feels much smaller. Oh, they're pretty brown, though. Awesome. I don't think he realizes what's going on yet. Oh, he came off. Oh, man. Well. I'm counting that as a catch. Head back now. The wind's getting a little rough. It's getting a little chilly out. And I've been fishing for quite a while. But as soon as the wind... Began to push all that warmer, dirtier water away from me, and that's when I really shut down. I'm not complaining though. That was a nice brown I got. Hooked in a plenty more, but I think I'll give this another shot next time it's a west wind. Um, definitely save the day though by coming here. But you can just see how windy it's gotten, especially compared to this morning when it was complete glass. So at 100 subscribers um, once we do that we're gonna give away some stuff as a thank you to everyone um, so if you haven't subscribed yet please do and if you have already thanks and I'm back at the first hole I was at just looked into a nice little jack <laughs> spunky little guy Pretty little fish. Oh, oh no, come back. I'll let you go. I knew I... I think I just had my first hit of the day. Oh, right up. Or are those just rocks? It is gorgeous down here, right up there.
Ooh.